October the 4th, 2022. As you're looking at the National Weather Service national map, a lot going on right now, and uh, I want to first say this video is about the tornado warnings that you see popping up in Texas and Louisiana, excuse me, Texas and Oklahoma, about to move into Arkansas. Also, severe thunderstorm warnings in the maroon again in the center are flash flood watches, and then flood watches in the green, the blue and purple area to the left is the, that cold front right, be, right behind the system. Now, it's becoming very ferocious. The clouds or tops are getting very high on there. So if you need to take cover or you need to contact someone in the area, pause this video now and come back after you take care of business because I'm going to cover what's going on in the tropics also. But again, you can see here in uh, east central Oklahoma and in northeastern Texas, out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area about to cross the uh, border here into Arkansas by the time the video launches it could very well be there but I want to show you the images of these very high clouds before I do that let me back up just a moment you've got some very wet moist weather that's about to push through into Nevada now this could help the lakes a great deal unless it creates a massive flash flood runoff but it will dump a lot of water into Lake Mead and a couple of other lakes in that area but uh, again a lot of water about to pull in there would need a break in the west now notice the difference between this video and the short video i did earlier showing the cloud tops over in oklahoma and texas this is a whole different level we were going from orange to level uh, from orange to the darker orange but now we're getting as you can see right here a completely different height than these clouds and that's where we're seeing that outbreak about to come into Arkansas right there so all of you guys in this area know that this is moving very fast and moving north northeast again these storms south that are in Texas about to come into uh, again Arkansas are growing also look at the cloud top heights here I want to back out and look at the old whole nation for a moment now look to the top left this is that moisture I'm talking about coming in Washington Oregon, Northern California, getting over into uh, Utah here. But look at the wave that's about to, you're probably starting to get this now in Vegas. And uh, anything will help because the uh, drought, even though we get these rains like that, this drought is very extended, even here in central Mississippi. I've noticed that. Here again, your storms in the uh, Texas, Oklahoma area. And this swirl behind it is very cold air. That's why you got those winter uh, watches and warnings in behind there. Now notice in the Bay of Campeche, this is what the remnants of what was Hurricane Lisa. The, it's still rotating here. It's pretty much station, uh, stationary, not moving north. But it, all of the clouds and storms are being stripped off and pushed north, northeast. And this is going to bring moisture, and you can already see it. Coming into Louisiana and into Mississippi right now as we speak, it's 6.23 p.m. Central Time. So this is going to add to the moisture involved in this storm. And we were seeing flash flood watches uh, just behind these in Texas. Another thing we're watching in the tropics is I mentioned a storm forming here uh, near the Bahamas. And we're, they're starting to see it now. It's a 40% chance of development. But right there, guys, it's starting to rotate. I'm going to look at a different satellite image to show you uh, what we're dealing with here. And it does look like it has a potential to become very strong. Maybe just a cat one, but still, that's not something you want to deal with if you're on the coast. We'll see because, the uh, again, depends on how it wraps these clouds up. But they are saying it will become um, more conducive in the areas it's going to travel through far development. Now, this image over the Caribbean will give you a little better image of what I'm talking about. You see it going from daylight to dark, switching to infrared, but right here, see that rotation? That's what they've been expecting for the last three or four days, and it's supposed to travel in this direction, 40% chance. Check that out. It looks like it's wrapping very well. Will it get enough storm activity around it? According to the National Hurricane Center, it is going to be getting into warmer water and less upper uh, wind shear, upper level wind shear there. Check that out right there. 
Now, this is the five-day forecast from the National Hurricane Center. In the orange here, we're getting 40% chance of cyclone formation in five days. A large non-tropical low-pressure system is expected to develop across the northeastern Caribbean Sea and, is, and southwestern Atlantic by the later uh, part of the weekend. This system is initially expected to be very broad and disorganized, but it could become, begin to acquire subtropical or tropical characteristics uh, during the early part of next week. Environmental conditions could support additional gradual development and a subtropical or tropical depression could form during the early to middle portion of the next week while the system moves generally northwestward and westward over the southwestern Atlantic. Regardless of development, there is an increasing risk of coastal flooding, gale force winds, heavy rainfall, rough surf, and beach erosion along much of the southeastern U.S. Uh, coast. The Florida East Coast and portions of the central and northwestern Bahamas during the early to middle part of next week. We're just going to see how it strengthens. Remember, at this when it gets to right in here, it's getting into the warmer waters of the uh, Gulf Stream itself. Now let's go back and take a quick look at the tornado warnings. Here you see that we're already getting into uh, northeastern or northwestern Arkansas right there. And you've got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe more multiple warnings on the ground now. And we'll just click right here into Arkansas for a moment. Now you can see that this thing is just south of Fort Smith. You may get lucky, although you are in a severe thunderstorm warning in this orange box behind you is flash flood warnings. But this is going to continue up Texarkana. Look at this up towards Hot Springs. Conway, Little, uh, Little Rock, Russellville, all of the areas that are in the yellow guys are under the uh, tornado watch, but that's going to move to the east. Now, dropping down into Texas, you can see you're, there's a, one that's just uh, north of Tyler, if not right on top of it, southeast of Canton, east of Emory, south of Suffer Springs, here east of Paris, Texas. That's what's going on. You've got pop, you've got um, severe thunderstorm warnings here. All of this is in a uh, tornado watch. But guys, that not going to make it any longer than that. But keep an eye on the tropics in the Caribbean. And all of my friends here tonight, watch for these tornadoes. Keep your weather radio on. Stay prepared. All of this is going to be moving on top of all of us, my friends here in Louisiana and Mississippi. Uh, I think uh, we're already starting to see some moisture come up out of the Gulf of Mexico itself. I think it may be daylight before it gets severe here. We're just south of Jackson, uh, Mississippi. So guys, keep your heads up and be safe.